All right. So you've decided to do the scripture. Good for you. I'm very proud of you. I'm hoping that you've done LTC for a while or that you have some experience with signs. The scripture is probably the most challenging thing other than the challenge, the super challenge, that you can do at LTC for signing and perfecting for the deaf. So I'm proud of you for choosing to do this. So when you come in, uh, instead of doing your song, you're going to have, I'm going to say on the, on the recording, the chapter and the verse of Romans that we're going to be doing. So here's how you sign. Romans chapter 10, verses 8 through 15. That would be Romans. You finger spell it out for me, okay? Finger spell it out. And it is chapter. And you can think of this as the page of the book. Chapters go down and verses go across. Okay? So it's chapter 10, verses... Eight. Okay, count your fingers there. Six, seven, eight. Okay, through fifteen or fifteen. Either way is correct. Ten, five, or come here. <laughs> Either way is right for fifteen. This is what scripture says. Now we're going to do these things. I'm going to give you kind of word for word. But I want you to be thinking of these things in sentences because it'll make it so much easier for you to interpret. If you interpret just the words, it's going to sound stilted. It's going to look stilted. And anyway, you should know that by now. This is what the scripture says. This, what scripture says. Okay. This isn't a, uh, uh, you can leave out is. And you can actually leave out what if you wanted to, and you leave out the if you want to. You can say, this scripture says. That would be perfectly clear. Sometimes our minds, though, are stuck in on English a little bit tighter than that. So if you want to, this is what the scripture says. All right? This, you just point to the palm of your hand, is what, so if you want to put the word what in there, it's just going to strike across the hand. Scripture, same thing as verses that we just did up in the top, says, you just point to your chin, this is what it says, God's teaching is near you. God, okay, kind of going out, up, and down, His. So we have that little apostrophe S up there in God's teaching. So the way that there are no contractions in sign language. So we have to decontract it. And what it's saying it is that which belongs to God, okay? God, his, open palm, showing ownership, like yours and mine, his. Teaching is near you. Teaching, take from my brain and put into your brain. Teaching is near you. Is near you. Okay? Now, when Paul is talking th at this, he's talking to a group of people. So, if all the yous, basically all the yous in the Bible are plural. We just in English don't notice that because we don't have a plural. You know, only the Texans are smart enough to have a plural for you, and it's y'all. So, all of the yous in the New Testament Almost all of them, anyway. Should probably be y'alls. But anyway, I sidetracked there. Uh, so, God's teaching is near. Left hand, if you're left, if you're right handed, left hand stays still, and the right hand kind of approaches it. Don't touch it, because then you arrive. You're not near, you're there. Near, okay? Near you. And I'm doing you as kind of a sweeping you. It is to be y'all, all right? It is in your mouth and in your heart. Okay, it. Boy, the, the deaf just almost never use the word it. Okay, they will use the noun again, as opposed to using the word it. There is a sign for it, 
and you're welcome to use it. There will be no points taken off. That's the sign for it. It's a little eye kind of pointing to the center of your hand. It, but more than likely, they would just sign it. Scripture is in your mouth and in your heart. Okay? God's teaching is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. Okay? In is like putting something in a cup. Your open palm showing ownership. Your mouth. Just kind of circle around the mouth. And in your heart. And there's lots of ways to do heart. I do it with the center finger. The center finger is uh, an emotion finger. So if you see pity and joyful and down or what, so then you'll find that that is a feeling finger. And so I really think that he's talking about the feeling in your heart. All right. All right. It's in your heart. The place where your heart is the way, the place where love comes from. All right. Heart. It is the teaching of faith. It is. The teaching, we got both of those already, of OF is generally how the deaf would do of, of, all right, of faith. And you take two F finger or two F circle, whatever you want to call those. This one stays still and this one closes its eyes and by faith lands on the other one, just by the tips, all right, faith. That we tell people, okay, it is the teaching of faith we tell people. Very rarely do you see them use the word that. If you wish to, again, it's okay. That is that, right? Uh, but we're just going to leave it out for right now. <clears throat> we is pointing to the first to the your kind of your uh, collarbone, just below your collarbone, on the same side where your elbow is. And they make a little circle in front of you and touch the same spot on the other side. All right? We. Tell people. Tell. Okay? This is to say, point, what does it say? Tell me. Tell me. All right? The tell is to take from my chin, lips, whatever, and point at you. Tell. Uh, people. This is a letter P, and they just kind of people up and down. And you can do, you can get your elbows out there, and you can make it look like them, all the people out there, kind of make it directed. Okay? If you openly say, so if, this letter I pointing to your cheekbone, all right? If you openly say, Okay, openly, it, open, no, not really open, it's really clearly, if you clearly say, Jesus is Lord, Jesus, and they have prints in the hands, and again, I think it's uh, interesting, it uses the center finger, I'll let you put the two and two together, Jesus is Lord, and Lord starts at the shoulder, opposite the elbow, and down to the hip, or very close there too, right? And believe. So and is an open palm pointed to all to the side, coming to where all your fingers are together. And <clears throat> believe in your heart. Think married is believe. I don't know why, but believe, all right? Think married. This is a sign for marriage. This is a sign for think. Think married is believed. Who knew? I don't know why they put it together that way, but they did. In your heart. Heart, and we've already gone through all those before, that God raised, lead out yeah, that God raised, so he's on his back, and you're going to stand him up. All right? Raised. Him from death. 
him. Now again, here we're going to take the pronoun out and replace it with the noun and do Jesus. All right? Because that's what the death would do. From death. From death. So he raised him from death. You will be saved. You will be saved. Will, just a hand coming past the ear, coming forward a little bit. B, and I would make those look like one sign if I were you. Will be, all right? Will come over, B, comes off the chin. Will be saved, okay? Saved. Just the hand crossing and with S's and coming across, saved. All right. Yes. Just a hand nodding. Yes. We believe in Jesus deep in our heart. We believe in Jesus deep in our heart. Deep. This is the one ground level. We're going to go down to the 87th floor. Deep in our, okay? Just like we, our is the same sign with an open palm, thus showing ownership. Our, okay, we got that. Uh, hearts, we already got that. And so we are made right with God. And we are made right with God. We can leave the word so out. So is one of the most interesting words, I think, in the English language. It is a chameleon word. It only has meaning within the context of where it's used. You try to find the word so outside of context, and it doesn't have a meaning. So, anyway, <laughs> there we go. I used it. And we are made, and we, and I'd probably even leave out the word are. We made right with God. Right is just one finger pointing, both fingers or pointer finger to kind of knock them together. With two hands together, God. And we openly say that we believe in him. And I think we got all of these. And we openly say we believe in him. And we are saved. We've already got all those words from the previous. So, yes, the scripture says, we've got all those down before, no new vocabulary there. Anyone who trusts in him, anybody, this is any, is the letter A just kind of snaking through the air. Any peoples, okay? Any peoples, that's anybody, all right? Uh, or anyone, anyone, anybody, anyone, same thing, who trusts in him, who? Who, we're going to leave out the word who. All right? We're going to leave it out because it's really not a question. This is the sign for who, and it's always a question. Here it is just saying anybody that trusts, or anybody who trusts, anybody, person that trusts. Anyway, the word who is kind of just a connector word. Anybody trust him will never be disappointed. Never. Same thing as any, only it's an open, open hand. All right. Never be disappointed. And here we use him and I pointed up, but you could just as easily have said Jesus. Anybody who trusts Jesus will never be disappointed. And it's kind of got your knuckles pointed out and it's kind of twisted till you so they see the back of your hand. And you're kind of just screwing into your chin, disappointed. Okay. It says this because there is no difference. It says this, okay. What says this? 
So scripture says this because there's no difference. Okay? It says this. Now see what I did there? Scripture. Scripture is still here. Says this. And I'm pointing to where the scripture was. So my hand just became scripture. So I'm leaving it up there. That's why I leave it up there. I don't know. Scripture says this. I just leave it there. Scripture says this. Okay. Because there's no difference between those who are Jews and those who are not. It says this. Because no difference, Jews, not Jews, is the way that the deaf would actually sign that. Uh, but we can do, there is no difference between those that are Jews and those who are not Jews. Either way, you can shorten it down if you want to, and you can be verbose if you'd like. Either way is going to be fine. There is no difference. There is no, this is no as in yes, we have no bananas, difference between. And we're just not going to even put the word between in there. We could, maybe like this, but there's no difference between those who are Jews this is the who are. Now I'm pointing over there. Those who are Jews and those who are not Jews. Okay? But it, it, doesn't, it doesn't say not Jews. Is that, it's just not. But we're going to communicate clearer. Not Jews. The same, the same, the same. How do I want to do that? How do the same? The same, just in the air anywhere, a white hand going back and forth. The same Lord, and L again, starting at the shoulder opposite your elbow and then down to your hip. The same Lord is Lord of or over all people. All. Kind of make hand up. And put a roof on it, slide the roof around, make it a wall. All right? All people. And he richly, this is like, I've got a bag of money, not just a little bag of money, i got a big bag of money, richly blesses, kind of take your knuckle, make two A hands, take the knuckle, kind of touch it to the corner of your mouth, and come down. Blesses. Everyone, all right, we had anybody, now we have everybody. The sign for every, and make it a hand, and take your thumb and just kind of crumb across your fingers. Everybody. Okay, but does anyone, everyone, who looks to him for help, anybody who looks to him for help, looks him for help. Help. Okay. Again, we got rid of the word that or who. Uh, just, and we got rid of the word to. You know, the, the whole movement is the to. Looks to him for help. And help is just kind of, you got an A hand here, you give a little boost up. You're giving it a help up. Yes. Everyone who trusts in the Lord will be saved. Trust. Kind of take your hands and they're all spread out and curl it just a little bit and you're going to bring them down together and they're going to make a T as they touch. So you got to kind of be a little coordinated with that one. All right? But before people can pray to the Lord, but, okay, and notice what I did with my head there. I put a little crease in the middle of it. If this is not, but, all right, this is, but, I even come back with my shoulder a little bit. But, but, all right, 
uh, before, and this is, remember near? Okay, get there now, and then come back a little bit. That's before. People can pray. People can. Can is two yes hands. This is yes, and this is can. Okay? Pray. Now, that should make a lot of sense, right? To the Lord. To the Lord. For help. Ready? We've done those before. Do we do four? Coming through the point at the head, just rotate the wrist a little bit. For help. They must. Okay, they. Who are we talking about? Just general people. They must. And it's an X finger just kind of coming down with a hook. Must. Believe in him. And before they can believe in, and we can do him or Jesus, before they can believe in Jesus, or believe in the Lord, is what it actually says, they must hear about him. And anyone and for anyone to hear about the Lord, somebody, all right, now we've got anybody, we've got everybody, and now we've got somebody, okay? Some is just divide the hand in half. Somebody or someone, right, must tell them. And before anyone can go, Okay, just kind of roll, kind of twiddling a little bit, just rolling a stick down the, rolling something down the road. Just go. They must be sent. Okay, here's the starting block, and off we go. Sent. As, okay, two fingers out here, coming back to two fingers together here. The scriptures say, how beautiful, or how wonderful, excuse me, how wonderful, how wonderful. And we're not going to do how, this is a sign for how, but how here is a question. We're not asking how wonderful is it, we're emphasizing. And the way we do that in sign language, we say truly, truly wonderful. It is to see someone coming. To see somebody coming to tell the good news. Okay, coming. I can do coming, or I can just have the person there boop, do, boop, do, do, come toward me, right? Coming to tell the good, now just have your hand there, and it's good. You don't have to make a slap in there, but you can see what I'm doing there. Good news. It's kind of like teaching. It's just from my brain to your brain. This is just news. Good news. This is information. This is, I have it in my brain, and I'm going to scatter it out amongst the, the, the millions. You can have what I know. All right. And that's it. That's the vocabulary for Romans chapter 10. Verses 8 through 15. Go through this. If you have questions, get onto the website, ltcsouthwest.org, or excuse me, ltcsw.org. You'll find my information on there somewhere. And send me a note if you need any help understanding, or if I've messed something up, or I've confused you, just go ahead and do that, and I'll be sure to help you out. All right. Thanks. Looking forward to seeing you there at LTC.